Hello and welcome to Shelter 142 in Switzerland. What a nice and sunny day. I'll bring you a improvised video today. I think most of you will probably know those lights that people put out in their garden that are usually solar powered. They have a small solar panel and they automatically switch on in the evening when the sun starts to go down and they automatically switch off in the morning when the sun rises again and as I'm somebody who likes to experiment with solar systems I decided to build such a light myself now this is a stone sculpture that my wife bought and she always wanted to have uh, a little bit of illumination inside and let me briefly take the lid off to show you what I have done to it I hope you can see this I have put a, a small LED light this is a 1.2 Watts LED light on a G4 socket into a glass beaker inside of the sculpture so it's a little bit protected from from the elements and then there is a wire going to a little solar system. This is a 20 watt panel, polycrystalline, and let me show how it's wired up. So the panel is feeding into a charge controller which is inside this box. It's an IP, I think 68 box, I'm not sure. And everything is connected inside of this box, so the wiring is protected from rain, from moisture. And the battery is inside this box. It's a 7 amp hour battery and underneath this box here you can see the light sensor and this light sensor works automatically. The light falls below I think it's 20 lux. It automatically switches on the LED light and in the morning, when the sun goes up, there's more than 20 locks. The light is switched off again. Let me close this up and I'll go inside to show you schematically how this is wired up. So this is a schematic overview of how all the components are wired together. Everything works at 12 volt and there is the 20 watt panel which goes into the charge controller and the charge controller is also connected to the battery which is a 12 volt battery with a capacity of 7 to 8 amp hours. Then the charge controller connects to the LED light which is at the end and between the charge controller and the LED light there is the twilight sensor or switch and this twilight sensor switch and will switch on or off this LED depending on, on how much light is available. Um, the charge controller is a very simple one. It only can take up to 4 amps and I think the simpler the better because the more sophisticated the charge controller, the more energy it will draw on its own and it will just be a load on the providing of energy by the battery and the panel. So a very simple one with low uh, self-consumption of energy is important. Uh, it will help to keep everything cheap. Then to protect the twilight switch There is a fuse here and it's a 1 amp fuse 
which makes sure that if something goes wrong somewhere um, the twilight switch does not break. The twilight switch that I bought will automatically protect the LED and this is all that it takes to to have a light that automatically switches on and off um, at night and in the morning. One can very well vary uh, the use. Now I have installed a twilight switch. One could imagine to have a motion sensor which is uh, installed in this position instead of the twilight switch so the light would go on or off dependent on something passing by the motion sensor. Or it could be a, a noise sensor which will activate or deactivate the LED dependent on the noise level which is in the surrounding. So this is very simple. I think it's a good way to practice the use of solar energy. I will put some links to the components that I've used down in the description box. Thanks for watching and bye.